Is, there, is there both teams going to be undefeated on October 30? Oh, we're trying to figure it out yesterday. I think this is the first time in like four years that they're going to both be top 10. Wow. Win, so. Wow. We'll see. Tim Harbaugh proving them wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So is there an update on Cade's? Uh, yeah, it's it's about the same. He still has some fluid on his on his ankle, and we're going to be cautious. It's disappointing. Just because of the fact that this, you know, this time is really uh, to integrate him and get him going, and he's missed a lot of time. So, uh, you know, no matter how many miles you ride on that bike or you're on the sideline or swim in the pool, it doesn't duplicate being on the court, getting the reps. And uh, and I feel for the young man because he wants to be out there, he, but his body's not letting him. But uh, you know, hopefully, his basketball IQ will help him come back quicker. Uh, but again, like I told told everybody, again, the ability for this group is av availability. So he's working hard to get back in, and uh, you know everybody that's got nicks and bruises and and not injured, you got they got to really work because we've got some quality people in front of them, and uh, you know the availability part is going to be important. So that's, does that mean he's definitely out for him or not I would I would say close to it. I, I'm I'm you know making it, nobody's told me that, but you know if you, he couldn't go today, you know I don't see him miraculously coming around and being ready to go tomorrow. He's going to need a couple of three practices, or I would say two or three practices under his belt before he he's ready to roll. Same, it's the same thing with Frank, probably. Uh, he's, I, mean, I would say it's probably the same thing with Frank. I mean, it, just to make sure that. Uh, those guys are, 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 you know, ready and healthy. Uh, you know, we had a grueling week, but yet and still, uh, the, all the x-rays are clean and, and there's no injury. And, uh, you know, so we have to go from there. But I, t I tell you what, one thing about it, Josh and, and Hami have done an excellent job. And again, the, you know, it's, it's competition for those positions. Beyond the injuries with Frank and Cage, after we get out of the camp, you feel like the team that we're used to be in the ring Well, we still, again, we'll, tomorrow we need some outside competition. That's going to tell us a lot. You know, I so saw where San Antonio scored a ton of points last night. That's going to be good competition for our defense to see where our defense is. It's going to be good competition for us to see where our offense is, if we can play fast, if we can play with pace. So uh, it's a good, and it's why it's exhibition practice season for us. And so uh, I'll have a better feel. Oh, uh, but from where we're going, from where we were last year, we're a, we're a step ahead, uh, from a far step, a long step ahead from where we were last year. So that's a good sign. Uh, one is is continuity, familiarity, um, and that's some of it. But the intensity, the hard play, uh, we are a step ahead of where we were. One person we haven't talked a lot about is Saban Lee. Um, toward the end of summer league, he, he had a good show and shooting the ball well. Where has he been at in camp? And do you expect to utilize him with the G League team coming and him being one of those guys that floats back and forth? I think, you know, a lot of it depends now with, with Kate being out, you know, that he's going to have a bigger role, you know. And again, you know, so uh, he had an excellent summer, excellent camp. Uh, you know, his shooting has been there. He's been knocking his shots down. He worked hard on his three-point shooting. But uh, his gift to the team is his defensive intensity, his speed and quickness of getting into the paint and setting other people up, setting the table as much as anything else. Uh, and, and right now, his three-point shooting will be gravy if teams want to go under on him. But uh, I think that's got to be his first focus is playing the point guard position like a quarterback, setting the table, talking, communicating, make sure everyone is in the right position. And I think that's one step that he has to make in his role. In the preseason, do you want to kind of take a look at everybody and, and we talk about kind of position battles, if you will, or, or minutes battles, mm -hmm. but do you just want to look at everybody, the, the, the Lucas, the, everybody who's available and just at least see how they react in game situations? Yeah, we're, we're, we won't play guys big minutes. I mean, you know, we won't, you know, 20 minutes or whatever it is, but we want to get a look at everyone, to evaluate everyone, see everyone, what they need, what, where they are, where we are, 
Uh, so there's, you know, there'll be uh, opportunity for, for everyone because one, we're down numbers, you know, with, with Frank out, with Cade out, with uh, whoever else, you know, Livers is out. So we're really down some numbers as far as, uh, um, you know, bodies are concerned. So um, it'd be a great opportunity for a young man like Pickett to get in and get some opportunity. Garza, all those guys will, will get their looks. Right. Okay. Question from Keith. Real quick. Okay. Yeah, right. Hey, Keith. Hey, Dwayne. Thanks for indulging me here. Um, I'm just wondering, you mentioned last week that you were just maybe starting to put a zone in. I'm wondering if there is a zone or anything situationally that you that you really want to get a look at in the opener? Yeah, well, I don't know about the opener, but definitely an exhibition. We, we've been working on zone. We want to get into it uh, at some point. Uh, in low clock situations, we may look at it. So all those things that are things we're going to get to, I don't know if we will in the first um, exhibition game, but we'll, we'll see. But uh, that's something that we got to have in our arsenal, uh, whether it's zone, uh, blitzing, uh, full court uh, defense, just anything we can to really uh, disrupt or break the rhythm of a, a really good offensive team because we're going to have to have it everything of our ability, uh, availability, because one is we are young. We do should have a lot of energy. So we gotta be able to utilize it in different ways. 